Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist and I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Food YouTube channel. If you enjoy these videos, you may want to hit that subscribe button. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to stretch your leather shoe. You know, when you go out and buy a shoe, you want to make certain that it fits correctly, but sometimes you get it home and after wearing it for a little bit, you might develop a hot spot. Maybe you have a bunion or maybe you have a hammer toe and so you just want to stretch the leather out a little bit so that it fits a little bit better and you get rid of that hot spot. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, to get started, the first and most important thing is to have the proper shoe stretcher. Now, I like to buy shoe stretchers that are wood. Uh, plastic shoe stretchers, they're not as strong as wood and they can break. And I think the wood stretcher does a better job. It doesn't have to be cedar like this one. This is not a shoe tree. But as long as it's a, 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 a wood shoe stretcher, you should be fine. You also want to get a shoe stretcher that has these holes. And they come with these different pods that you can put in each of these different holes depending upon what your problem is. So for my right shoe, let's pretend I have a bunion and the hot spot is right here. Well, I'll want to have a shoe stretcher that has a hole on that side that comes with the appropriate pod that I can put into that hole right there. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to wet this shoe down. And we're going to use a combination of isopropyl alcohol and water. And the appropriate mixture is about 3 to 1 water to alcohol. So I'm going to put in my water and I'm going to put in my alcohol. I'm using 70% alcohol. If you're using 90% you may want to put a little bit more water in. And I like using these shoe mitts that you get at the, at the hotels. So you know if you see these things here, pick them up and save them. You can use it for this or, or for polishing your shoes at home. Um, you can also just use a, a, a rag and you're going to want to apply the alcohol to the inside of the shoe. Don't put it on the outside of the shoe because the alcohol can actually ruin uh, the, the leather, I'm sorry, the finish of the, of the shoe itself. So you're going to want to put this inside of the shoe and you're going to want to wet down the area that you're going to want to stretch. And you may want to leave that in there for a few minutes and just kind of get that area wet. And once that's done, then we're going to insert, insert the shoe stretcher. Now, um, this particular one has a, a screw in the back that allows me to put this wood piece in the, in the heel of the shoe, which allows it to fit better. Sometimes they make them without it. I'll leave a link to this type of shoe stretcher. I like this one a lot, um, but I can get the stretcher in there. And actually, I have this a little tight, so let's loosen that up. That allows this to get inside a little bit better. Now I can get the, that back part of the stretcher in there to hold it. And then I can just turn this screw to tighten up the fit. And this is just put, this is not stretching now. This is just pushing the front of that stretcher into position. And when you stretch the shoe now, what you're going to do is actually just turn the whole screw like this. Now, when you stretch a shoe, you just don't want to crank on the screw because you don't want to, you don't want to crack or break the leather. You want to do this slowly. So I can feel that I have it in the right spot because I can feel that, that pod that I attached to the stretcher right in the area where I want to stretch the shoe. And so I'm just going to turn the screw a couple notches here and that's it. And I'll leave the shoe, I'll leave the stretcher in the shoe here for a day and then remove it and try it on and see how it fits. And if it needs a little bit more, I'll put it in and I can give it another turn or two. But you don't want to do it too much. You don't want to break the shoe. You don't want to break the leather. Um, you don't want to damage the shoe. So do it slowly. When you're all done, obviously you're going to just unscrew this and, and pull it out. There we go. And it should have stretched the leather out here so it's a lot more comfortable to wear. I mean, you can have this done at your cobblers as well, but it's, it's a lot easier just to do it at home. It saves you the trip over to the, uh, to the uh, shoe repairman and it also saves you a little bit of money and you can use this over and over. Uh, one of these can be used on either shoe and uh, it's, a, it's a good way to go. So that's a simple and quick video on how to stretch your shoe properly. You can also do this with ladies shoes and I'll leave a link to a ladies shoe stretcher below this video as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Dr. Dave and I'll see you on the next video.